All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to install iris shaders alongside fabric, which will allow us to both run iris shaders and sodium, so we get the benefit of really cool shaders and all of the performance improvements visually for the maximum amount of frame rate that you get from using sodium with Minecraft. Um, previously, we would have done this by manually installing fabric, we don't need to do that. Sodium and or iris shaders will take care of that all for us by installing both iris, fabric, and sodium all in one go. And then we can go over here and grab some shaders from our favorite shader websites. So the first thing we're going to start out by doing is downloading iris shaders. So go ahead and go to the link that I provide in the video description below, and then click on the iris installer here and download the universal jar. I've already got one stashed away in an Irish Shaders 2025 folder, so I don't have to re-download this, but go ahead and download that anyway. And then as we're kind of working, you can also think about what kind of shaders you want to install for your game of Minecraft. If you like them realistic, if you like them cartoony, you have a whole bunch of options out there. All you have to do is make sure that they are compatible with Iris. So with that in mind, the other thing that we need to do is we need to run the most recent version of Java 1.21.4 edition at least once. That way we know that it is downloaded completely and it can be used to mod and install fabric alongside of iris shaders and sodium. So just boot it up and once you see this screen with all the moving stuff going on and you see that you can create a new world with 1.21.4. You can even load in and play around a little bit and then load back out. You should be good to go and you can close this window. From here, we can open up our download folder. And inside of this is our iris installer. I don't need this fabric installer I just found out. So all we need is the iris installer, the most recent version. And I'm going to double click on that and it should automatically run with Java. If it doesn't run with Java, I have a way to reassociate Java with jar files using the jar fix. I have that tutorial linked in the video description below so you can fix that if it is a problem. So from here, we want to install for the game version 1.21.4, and we want to select install Iris and Fabric at the same time, and we want them to install it in the Minecraft directory. So all of this looks good and we can click install. Once it's done, it'll be like, hey, Larry, I found an old existing mod folder in your Minecraft folder. Is it cool if I delete that and replace it with mine? And I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. If you have pre-existing mods that you wanna keep, you're gonna have to manually install this the old fashioned way, unfortunately, and this installer won't necessarily work for you. Cause you know, trying to install mods on top of mods can break things if you don't know what you're doing. Otherwise, if you're just installing this on its own and then you're going to install other stuff alongside of it for fabric, go ahead and click yes. And then it'll say, hey, we're done, completed, we're good to go. And then you can close this window. From here, we can open Minecraft back up and then inside my Minecraft launcher, I can go up here to installations underneath Java edition. And at the top should be one labeled the fabric loader. 1.21.4, it automatically created a fresh profile for us, and we can open up the folder that everything's installed in on my computer, and then we can find that there is the fabric right here, and we can also find that there is a mods folder somewhere hiding in here, and inside the mods folder is iris and sodium, so that means we have everything that we need to go from there. But the last thing that we need is shader packs. And you may or may not have a shader packs folder inside of your Minecraft folder. If you don't have one already, go ahead and create one. And then we're going to find some shaders to replace these outdated ones. And then we're going to just slap them inside of this folder. All right, so I get all of my shaders over here at minecraftshader.com. I'll put this link in the video description below. And from here, I'm just going to grab one that says that it's compatible with the iris uh, shaders, which is seen here in this little 
info block down here tells you who made the shaders, what genre it's in, and then if it's compatible with Iris or Optifine. And I'll just grab the complementary shaders, and then we'll go to how to install, and there should be a button in here. Jump to download section, and in four seconds, I'll be able to download the complementary shaders. And then I'll just stick that in my Iris shaders folder underneath shader packs. You can download more than one of these uh, if you want to try a few of them. You can easily just switch between them inside of Minecraft once you've got the download link. And then once those are both downloaded, we can just open up that folder that those are both stored in. We can copy these. And we can just paste them directly into the shader packs file inside of the Minecraft folder. If you don't have a shader packs folder yet, as a reminder, you can literally just make one and call it shader packs and Minecraft will detect it just fine. Once you've done that, you can close these folders and you can close this Minecraft window. And then you can just launch the fabric loader 1.21.4. It'll also warn me, hey, Larry, just as a heads up, this is a modded version of Minecraft. Some funny things might happen. And I'll be like, that's fine. I understand. And then I'll click play. This is uh, important because different mods, if they conflict with one another, can do things like corrupt your save files. So it might be a really good idea if you're not used to modding Minecraft to look up how to back up your saved world's files in Minecraft, just to be sure. So once all that's done, you should be able to just create a new world. I'll just name mine like you don't have to create a new world. You can use an existing one, but I'm going to do this just for the sake of the video. Shader packs. And then I'll make this into creative mode. And I will create that world. And then once you've got this open, let me make this window a little bit bigger for everybody. Once you've got that open, you might notice that everything looks just like normal Minecraft. And that's not really that cool. But what you can do is you can go to options and you can go into your video settings, which is going to have all of the crazy sodium stuff. But you can go to shader packs at the top tab at the top and you can go to like Silders, vibrant shaders. And then you can apply that, which might lag your computer out for a second. And then once you're done, oh, my googly goodness, look at all those crazy shaders. Makes everything look really dramatic and cinematic, like I'm inside of some kind of action movie in a jungle. And then you can easily, by going back to options, back to video settings, at the top here, you can click shader packs and you can switch between any shader pack that you have installed by just dropping them into that shader packs folder. You can just quickly click between and change between any of them that you want to, and it will allow you to test out which ones you prefer. And there's a whole bunch of different varieties of shaders from cartoony to realistic to fantasy to sci-fi. So you've got a whole lot of stuff provided it's Iris compatible to play around with and see what you like. And you can find them from a number of different websites, which I will highlight in an updated video for 2025 after this one goes live. So stay tuned. And that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been how to install Iris and Fabric and use it with Sodium to get all these sweet shaders and all of that really great performance boosting power at the same time. I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.